After opening the app, select your experience or tour and press Begin to download. If you've already downloaded the item in the past, you may see a green Update button that will let you download new changes and content. Once the download is finished, press Begin. You'll see a map of the area with each location shown on the map and a route. To zoom in or out of the map, simply place your fingers on the map and pinch in or expand your fingers. Press an icon on the map to view it, and press it again to access that stop's content. Videos will be shown by a play button in the image space. Simply click on the play button to start the video. You can also connect with the location on social media, report a problem, or take a survey by pressing the share button in the top right. If you're using the app in person, it will play the audio automatically once you reach a predetermined location. You will see your current location on the map. On the map page, the arrow button in the bottom left will take you to your current location. The crosshairs icon will take you back to the locations of interest. You may toggle map views by selecting map, satellite, or hybrid. And if there is background sound, you can mute the sound by pressing the sound icon on the bottom right. Press the three horizontal lines to see a list of all stops on the tour. You can search for a location by name or scroll through the list. Click on the one you want to hear. You may also use a keypad prompt by pressing the pound sign on the bottom left. The button on the top right will let you share the tour on social media, email, or text message. You can also send feedback from here. When using the app at an indoor location like a museum, the first thing you will see is the number pad instead of the map view. Once using the number pad, enter the number for your stop and press enter or search for a location by pressing the search icon. Press Next and Previous to scroll through stops. If you have any questions on how to use the app, please contact iTour Mobile through the Report a Problem option.